Hello, Natasha will share how to create beautiful toucan. For this design, you will need a several colors of gel polishes – red, orange, yellow, lime green, pink and dark brown. You can use gels or gel paints as well. Also, we will need a bright or neon green, two types of blue, dark green, black and white. We will need two tips with any pastel light background, light buffer, pencil, top coat, and synthetic brush. Number one, to create strokes and ombre, and the smaller one, number zero, to create a thin fine lines. When creating any complex design, you need to start with a plan and a sketch. So I found a picture of the toucan that I like, and first we need to measure the size. So usually toucans, they have a pretty long pecker, and that's why I decided to place it on two tips. Now we need to measure the size of the image. So this is one point, and on the right side I measure another point. So this will be the width of our image. Then we are going to do the same thing, but on the tips. Do not forget to leave small margins on the left and on the right side. Then we need to measure other parts to understand how we should locate them. Now, first of all, we need to understand the size of the packer, which is right here. And also we have this part from the packer to the edge of the head. So now let's measure how many times can it fit into the rest of the picture. So what we do, we simply take this distance you can use the ruler or a piece of paper or just rely on your eye. I will simply use the edge of my pencil, so put it right here and then we measure. So that will be one, two, three. So that means we are going to do the same thing on the tips. So I will connect the two dots, create a line, and then we are going to divide it into three equal parts. I will do it like this and then I will check myself if it fits. One, two, three. Perfect. Now we have the sketch for the packer. Now we need to look at the size of the packer and measure this length all the way. And also let's see the height of the packer from this point up to here. Now it looks like the distance from this dot to the edge of the head is similar to the one that we have on the bottom. This line as well as this line are equal. That makes it much easier and now we are going to make the same thing on the tips. Now you measure this length and create exactly the same one right here. And then we create the line so now we know how high we should place the packer. Then we are going to measure this part right here that goes up to the edge of the head. It looks almost like a quarter of the circle, so I will simply connect these two lines. Now we need to create the packer itself. Let's take a look at the shape. On the bottom line, it is almost straight and only at the very edge of the packer it goes a little down. And we are going to do the same. It's just a straight line and right here it is a little curved. On the upper line it goes up and as it goes closer to the head it gets a little thicker. It should not be straight, it has a little curve. If you are not sure whether your sketch is correct, always check yourself. For example, this distance should be how long or how far compared to, say, this one it goes not all the way up. So this is how you can check yourself too. Now let's see. This distance and this look similar. 
they should not be equal otherwise you will have the packer that looks too narrow now we need to divide the packer into two parts but they are not equal the lower one takes about one third of the whole length so i will do the same right here remember that the upper one should be wider let's also separate the edge of the packer as it has a different color as well as this line which will be orange this one if we take a look at the head we will see that part of it is yellow and another part is black and we need to create these lines on our sketch as well Now let's create an eye, which is rather big. After that, I will create a neck and a wing. The neck is rather short and it starts right here a little lower than the line is. short line that goes down first and curve it create a parallel line that will be his wing and then we need to do the similar line on the other side The placement also depends on the length of the nails. If you plan to do this design on long nails that you probably can fit the whole bird with wings. But if the nails will be short like this, then I would recommend to look only on the hat and the packer because you will be able only to place them and we are not going to create this lower part of the bird. Now let's create the actual sketch on the tips. I applied pink gel polish and buffed the surface and I recommend you to use any soft pencil to create a sketch. The first thing that we did, we measured the size of the picture first. Remember, we need to leave two margins on the right side as well as on the left side. And now I'm going to put these dots on our tips on one side and on the other side. Do not place them too close to the edge. We can also create a horizontal line, which will be the bottom line of the packer. Do not place it too high. I recommend you to make it almost in the center of the tip. After I created the horizontal line, now we need to measure these sections. So remember this size where the head was, was just one part, which is one third of the whole length. So that means we are going to do the same thing here and simply divide the whole line into three equal sections. Do not worry, they do not have to be perfectly even. You can always use an edge of your pencil or a piece of paper. This is just an approximate distance. So this is one section and here we have another one. Remember when we were measuring this section, we figure out that this distance is equal to this one. So this is basically a part of square. So we are going to create the same thing right here. These two lines, they're equal, so I created all the way up here and we can also create the part of the circle, which will be the edge of the head that goes all the way up here. You can fix any line or section later, so do not worry about it, this is just a sketch. 
Now we have the straight line and the packer goes a little bit down only at the very edge, which is right here. And we need to make it on the tip as well. Right here it is a little bit curved. After that I will create the upper line that goes a little bit down as well and is more narrow as we get closer to the edge. Check yourself from time to time, so I want to make sure that this part is not much more narrow than this one, otherwise the packer will look too small, too narrow. Now I think that I need to place the forehead a little bit higher, so I will create another line, and then we need to divide the packer into two parts. So the lower part is about one third of the whole width, so the upper half will be always bigger. Also, we need to create a line right here, where the orange and another orange part of the packer is. There is another line on the head, one part of which will be black and another one will be bright yellow. Set a little distance from here, this is where the neck will be, and create a slightly curved line all the way down, which will be the part of the body, which consists of two parts as well. The one is black with the wing and another one is middle part, which is yellow. This is the sketch that we need to create. After that, I will take rubber and Carefully clean it. Do not clean it all the way. We still need to be able to see the lines. I just want to make them lighter on both tips. Next step is creating a color sketch. Since we are going to use the bright neon colors here, and most of the times they are half transparent, I am going to use white as the background first. So I am going to fill the parts where I am going to use yellow, green or blue colors first, and then I will apply neons on top. If you have a white background already, then you do not need to do this, you can simply skip this step. I'm using synthetic brush, 7 milliliters long, and first I'm going to create the shape of the packer. But remember, we do not need to create the outline of everything, only of the parts where I'm going to use light neon colors. In the areas where we are going to use red or orange color, you do not have to create a white sketch. Now I am going to freeze cure it in LED for about 10 seconds. While we wait, I am going to work with another part of the design and create a white sketch right here, where the light colors will be.
freeze cure it in LED as well. While another tip is curing, I am going to create the edge of the packer and fill it with a bright orange color. Be careful and try to stay within the lines that you created before. Freeze cure it in LED. Then I am taking a yellow neon color and going to fill all the area where the head and the neck will be. Freeze cure for a few seconds and with the same yellow color I am going to fill the upper side of the packer. The bottom part will be filled with green. We'll do the same thing on the other side. One half of the packer will be yellow and another one will be green. Now after I apply the second color, I will also blend them a little bit to create color fade. Neon colors are usually super easy to blend, so you can do it in any direction with almost any brush. Freeze cure in LED. On the right tip I am going to add more orange. Now fully cure it this time and next step will be adding black color. We are going to fill the head and the wings areas with the black. I'm going to use a regular black gel polish and also if you don't like some of the lines or the shape that you created, you can easily fix it at this moment. This is how you fix the shape. I realized that the forehead is not big enough, so I'm making it a little bit wider. Also, it will look really cool if you will create not just a smooth edge, but create a small dots imitating the feathers. Outline the neck from the other side. Create a thin line that will separate the packer. You probably noticed that none of these lines are straight, they all should be a little curved. Then I'm going to fill the left wing with black. Mm -hmm. 
it will be okay if the wing will take a little bit from the left tip as well. Then I'm going to freeze cure all the black part. Create an eye. This is how I recommend you to do it. First place a super small dot and then carefully add more gel as you make it bigger. By the way, the eye should be pretty big in a toucan. Freeze cure it as well. We have plenty of left space on the left tip, so why not add some decorations? And I'm going to add the leaves like we have here in my original design. I'm going to use a dark green. Another small leaf will go up here. Using the same color but thinner brush, I am going to create branches to connect the leaves. Now you need to fully cure it as we are going to add color fades on top. You can leave it like this but the design looks pretty flat so once you add more colors and fade to your design it will look more 3D. First I am going to add a bright red on the edge of the packer right here. I am outlining the shape that we have then I will clean the remaining gel from the brush and with a dry brush I am going to stretch the color creating the fade. It is very important to not remove the sticky layer before doing this as it is so much easier to stretch the color when you have a sticky layer underneath. Freeze cure. more red on the other side and stretch it as well. Then I will add green on top of the yellow part. Take a drop of gel polish and place it on the edge. Then you can turn the client's nail or the tip around so you will feel more comfortable. Clean the excess product and with a dry brush I'm going to stretch the color. Neon colors I usually have transparent so it's very easy to create the perfect blend. Freeze cure in LED and then I will create another color fade around the eye. First outline the eye and then with a dry brush simply stretch it 
from the center towards the other side. Please cure. Then I will use a bright blue and this color is also half transparent. I will apply it on the bottom of the packer. By the way, if your blue is intense, you can use it as well, but it is easier to blend the colors that are not as pigmented. Clean the excess product from the brush and blend. Repeat the same on the other side. Now we need to work on the neck. If we take a look at the original image, we can see that it is much darker here as we go closer to the bottom. So I will use the yellow, which is a little darker. First, do not take a super dark color because it will be extremely hard to blend it at once. So start with something that is closer and blend it. brush should be dry at all times when you do the color blend. Pre-secure it in LED. And the last thing we need to do is to add an orange accent right here in the corner. Add the orange line first. And blend. Repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Now fully cure the design and the next step will be adding shadows and highlights. But first let's take a look at the original image and I will show you where we are going to place shadows. The first one will go up here. Shadows are the parts where the colors will be darker. Another one will be right here under the packer as well as under his eye and here in the chest area. Now let's take a look on how are we going to locate it on the tips. Now I will create a line right here. This is one of the darkest part of the whole design. Another one is right here under the packer. To create shadows, we will need the colors that are darker than our design. I will place all the colors that I'm going to use and also a few drops of the top coat. You can use any kind of top coat that you like, but it is better to choose the thin consistency. If you do not have one, you can also use base coat, but once again make sure it is not too thick, because with thicker consistency 
you will have an additional volume on our design and it will not be flat. I will start with the shadow right here and I will need a red color. I will take a drop of red and I am going to add black gel polish in it. There should be more red than black. So I will create a dark brown color and then I will add them exactly to those places like I just showed you. Clean the excess product from the brush, dip it in the top coat and carefully start blending. I will add similar dark accents to the orange part. A little drop of the top coat will help you to create a better blending. Do not take too much product at any time. Freeze cure and then with a dark red color we can also outline the orange part. But this one is optional. If you do not feel confident about it, you can simply skip this step. Now let's work on the bottom line. I freeze cured the previous step. And here we used blue and green colors. So I'm going to use the same ones. I will take some blue as well as green. Mix them together, but we need to make a darker color, so I will add a little black. If the colors you are using are too pigmented, too intense, you can add a drop of top coat to make them lighter and easier to blend. Add the bottom line and stretch it with the top coat. When blending the colors it is important so you will not take the whole color but only a very tip of the color and use only light strokes. This part should remain the darkest. This is how the shadows look like. Freeze cure in LED and repeat the same on the opposite side. Take more dark color, clean the axis from the brush, take top coat and blend. Then I'm going to work on the shadow right here under the eye. I will use a dark green color. Add a little top coat and black color. I will use this created color to create the shadow. It will look like a half moon shape. Then blend it towards the free edge. Freeze Cure in LED. Then I will add another shadow right here in the neck area and in the chest. Now we need to create a color which is darker than yellow. And if we will take black, once we mix it with any light color, it will look untidy and not clean. So I recommend for yellow and orange colors to use brown. I will take dark brown and mix it with the top coat. It will be the best solution to create this shadow on the chest. You can use bigger size of the brush. I'm using number one as this area is much bigger and apply it on the bottom first. Since we mixed this color with the top coat, it is half transparent and we can already see through the yellow and it will perfectly match with the background.
clean the excess product from the brush, take some top coat and start stretching the color. The brush should be almost dry. This is the same technique that we use to create ombre. You can fix some errors and imperfections with a smaller brush. Freeze cure it in LED. To make this fade look better and blend the colors more, you can mix more of the top coat with the brown so the color will be almost transparent and add it right on top. I will also add a brown shadow under the packer. Carefully blend this area too. Now we can see more volume in our design and now let's add more shadows to the leaves so they will not look as flat. I'm going to use dark green. I will mix it with a little bit of black. Add some top coat and apply this mixed color in the center of the leaf. With a clean drop of the top coat, I'm going to blend the color. Do not use too much top coat, otherwise it will not look clean. Repeat the same on the opposite side. Let's add shadows to the branches as well. Next step is called details and accents. We are going to add small accents and the first one will be separating the two parts of the packer. I am going to use black gel polish, you can also use black gel paint. Make sure that the color is intense enough and I simply create that horizontal line. I'm going to add this line to the other tip as well, 
but it's not just straight. If we look closer, we will see that there are a little zigzags in this area and we are going to create them now. Now I will outline the whole shape of the packer. The lines should be very thin at the moment. Outline the upper part as well. If you are terrified when you think of working with black color, you can also use a brown one. Do not press on your brush, it should be a very light touch. Outline the orange part. Pre-Cure in LED. Repeat the same on the opposite side. I will also add some lines and accents on the leaves with a black color. You can outline the branches with the super thin lines as well, but always outline the side where the shadow was. After that, fully cure your design and now we are going to add some accents on the chest to make it look like their feathers and I am using brown with a tiny bit of the top coat right here and simply create a very light touch strokes imitating the feathers. They should not be perfectly symmetrical or straight.
get dark green color under the eye right here but not too close to the black color and also we can add more orange right here in the corner Fully cure the design and the next big step is highlights. We are going to add some of them right now and some of them after sealing with the top coat. To add more texture and volume to the black part we are going to highlight it a little bit and the best color for this is grey. To create grey color simply add a little white to the black and mix them really well. Then take the brush and with the super light strokes create the lines that should be parallel with the direction of the feathers. And this is how we will make it look textured, not just some flat black object. Now clean the excess product from the brush and with a dry brush now you can blend the color and stretch it so it will be almost seamless. Do not use too much white or create too many strokes. It should be easily seen and this is how it looks the best. I am also going to add a little grade right here in the eye, but I am not going to blend it. Just leave it like it is. Cure in LED. Now with the light green I'm going to add some highlights to the leaves. Take some neon green, mix it with white to make the color more intense and we can also add a little neon yellow so the color will be more neon and bright. And then your brush should be very thin, create a super thin lines parallel with the darker accents. Your light green lines should be right next to the black ones. It is very important not on top of the black lines. With the same color I will outline the shape of the leaf and the most important part is that these lines should be the tiniest. I will add these similar highlights to the branches. Freeze cure in LED and repeat the same on the opposite side. Take neon yellow color and mix it with white and with this mixed color we can create a highlight on the upper side of the packer and make it look lighter. And on the feathers.
fully cure it in LED and seal with the top coat. If you use the top coat that requires sticky layer removal, you need to do this at the moment. If you use a no wipe top coat, then simply skip this step. I'm going to use a white gel paint, which is a thick consistency gel paint. And for this step, it is better to choose any high pigmented white gels. By adding accents and highlights after you sealed with the top coat, it will make your design look more volume and beautiful. Now I will take the thin brush and first outline this part right under the eye, between the black and the green part. Do not make the full circle, always leave some margins and create a tiny dot. Between the yellow and the black part, I am going to create some accents that will show the texture of the feathers. Then I will add more highlights in the center to imitate feathers. More white accents right on top of the head, but please do not use too much white and if you are not confident about this step, you can also skip it. Add a super thin white line right on top of the black one where the packer connects its two parts and ideally the white line should be even thinner than the black one. Add another one right here on the side. Repeat the same on the other side. fully cure in LED and if you wish you can add some white dots near the branches or the leaves imitating the water drops. Do not add any white accents to the leaves as they are on the background. Fully cure, remove the sticky layer if you use the gel paint with the sticky layer and if you wish you can also add some rhinestones to this design.